Right before we jump into this video, if you'd like to take better pictures in only 11 days, I created a free mini video course that you can sign up for right now at fronosphoto.com slash 11 days. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. And as many of you guys know, I've been out on the campaign trail as a photojournalist trying to tell the stories of the road. And what I want to do is share the story of how I captured this image right here on this screen. Now, before I get into all of the settings and the compositions and things that could have made it better, I want to show you exactly what happened through my electronic viewfinder. So what I will tell you is I was shooting with the Sony a7R4. I had the Sigma 24 to 72.8 millimeter lens on my camera and I have an Atomos Ninja Star on top so I can record my EVF. Now the recording does look a little more jumbled in terms of uh, the quality because it's recording the video out signal while I'm actually looking through the EVF. So it's not the cleanest, it's not 4K, it's not the best thing in the world, but it shows you exactly what I see and, 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 and how I captured the image that I captured. Also, how long I have to do so. This is one minute and 46 seconds of action that you're about to see. I'm gonna start it right now and just show you. I'm trying to find the angle that I wanna get. I have my exposure. What, what's going on right now is that I'm trying to find what image I want. So I have it in my mind that the senator will be walking through that door. Basically what I'm doing here is looking at different angles, trying to find different things. But the senator is doing a stump speech outside. So he is finishing up his speech. He's going through what's called the rope line, which is just shaking people's hands. And obviously here you can see two stage and then on camera beyond this point is just always a reminder. So I wanna use the door as a natural frame. So as you can see, one of the campaign people coming through, I take a picture and you can see people outside moving around, trying to get the images and I'm inside waiting. And so this is an empty room for all intent and purposes. You've got the security guard in the left-hand side because uh, it's always good to have extra security around. You've got uh, me waiting. So here, here we go. So what you see coming through the door, you've got the senator's grandkids are gonna come through the door. Um, I've already set my exposure because I came inside after shooting outside and I knew I wanted to get a certain composition, and this is the composition that it went. I went with, which is basically wide. So you've got the grandkids coming through, you've got his campaign manager, you've got his son, stepson right here. Uh, they're gonna wait, and the senator's gonna come through the door. I don't know when it's gonna happen. So what I'm thinking right now is, I want my focus point to be through that door. I'm hoping that the senator is the first one through the door and that security or other campaign people aren't the ones that are gonna walk through the door and then basically bone my shot because I don't have a clean way to get a photo of the senator walking through the door. So you never know what's gonna happen, but I'm setting myself up in the right space to get what I think will be a good image. Now let's keep it rolling. So we've got, oh, oh, bottom right hand corner, right down here is Brian. He's the campaign's photographer. So we have to work together out there because I don't want to get in the way of his shot. He doesn't want to get in the way of my shot. We work really well together because um, you have to. You're out there to get the photos. So you want to work well so that you can get the shot. Um, okay, so we're almost through this. It's all gonna happen so fast because you're gonna see people just start moving. Finding the, uh-oh, here comes somebody. That's the interpreter. She's the one who does the sign language for all, all of the people. You've got the family off to the right-hand side. You've got a, uh, a police officer to the left. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. You don't know when it's gonna happen. I'm keeping my eye through the door and my focus point to the door. My settings are, okay, here we go. The senator comes through the door. You see how still I got? And by the way, that's one of the pictures right there. Two quick shots, let's roll that back. Watch how still I get when it's time to actually shoot. Here we go, still, boom, boom, two quick shots. A couple more as he comes through the door, greets his family over here to the right. Uh, everybody else is starting to move because we gotta grab the jackets and we gotta get off to the next campaign stop. This was in Iowa. Two shots and then bail, let's watch that again. Right here, senator's walking here, you've got the family. Grab the senator's jacket. Here we go. Two quick shots, boom, boom. And then it's bail and go. Cause you kind of don't want to make eye contact. You just want to get ready. Cause you have to jump in the vehicle. I have to jump in the vehicle with Brian uh, before the senator gets into his vehicle. Because once his door is closed, 
all the cars start rolling, so you don't want to be left behind. And that's it. That's it. That's the shot. That was a minute and 46 of, of it, um, and you're just seeing us leaving out the back door right here, following everybody out, and there you go. This is the photo. So let me break down the settings and then break down what I like, what I don't like, and what I could have done better. So let's see what settings we have. 1 800th of a second at f2.8 ISO uh, 1250, which is not bad at all when you're shooting um, indoors. I'm at 1 800th of a second because I want to freeze the motion as he's walking. Could I have been at 1 500th of a second? Absolutely. But 1250 ISO is not a problem with any camera these days, so I have no problem. I'd rather have a faster shutter speed than not. Also, I've got image stabilization on inside of the camera, and I get lock-on tracking of the subject. Lock on to the senator, boom, as he's walking, get my shots, and keep moving on. So I, what I like about this image, and I'm, what, 24 millimeters? Yeah, 24 millimeters. I like the natural framing of the door. I would prefer that the officer wasn't here, but the officer was there, and so that is part of the, the image. You've got some of his family, the, the grandkids off to the right, and you have all of these Bernie signs. That is what I love about the image. I like, I like showing wider behind the scenes personally. This is my personal choices. I like the ultra, I like the wider stuff because it shows you, in my opinion, how empty the room is and that it's me behind the scenes and it's the senator and a couple of other people. And that's why I like the empty, empty space to show you that it's behind the scenes. Let me cut in here real quick and remind you that I am still running the super huge mega camera giveaway where one of you will win a camera valued up to $3,499 or get the equivalent value in lenses as well. All you need to do is go over to bit.ly slash megafro2020 to get entered for free. If you purchase Fro Pack 1, Fro Pack 2, or the Fro Pack bundle, or you already own them, you will score extra entries towards winning the grand prize. And as a reminder, you do not need to purchase the presets in order for your chance to win the grand prize prize. So now let's get back to the video. There are some other ideas that could make this image better and Steven, when he saw the image, had some suggestions for how it could be cropped or how I could look for this type of image again in the future and do it differently. I'm happy with the image. I'm happy with the way it turned out. I like the, the, the composition. The lines where they matter are straight. At 24 millimeters, it is pretty bowed, but we could correct that in Lightroom if we wanted. Um, I love the natural vignette around the edges that draw us in to the Senator right here. So I like that. But Steven brought up a great point that it would have been better if I would have done something like this and maybe even get more of a creative crop. So let's un un uncheck this just to show you what could have been cool. So we've got this, and I'll also tell you why I won't crop it, but I'll, I'll do it just for the, the teaching purposes right here. And you got that. Okay, so it's not the perfect aspect ratio, but you're getting the point here. Let me, let me reset this. And let me give you the perfect as aspect ratio, way to speak, on, on, on how you would compose it if you were going to do that. So I'm gonna get rid of the to the stage part because I think the most important thing is just the doorway and the senator coming through the door. It's a door, use it. So yeah, this is a super duper crop. Keep that in mind. I wouldn't personally do this. I know that a magazine or somebody else would consider doing this. I don't, I wouldn't crop it personally because it's the, you get the bowing of the wall because I was at 24 millimeters and you can crop in. I like this thought and idea of what it could have been. That's something that my mind didn't grab in the quick minute that I had to get the image. I didn't think like, boom, I should get the, oh my God, these signs are amazing. Frame the door with the Senator and all the Bernie signs. That's something that Steven brought to my attention later uh, when I got home, and that is a really good idea. So in the future, if I was to do this again, being at 35 millimeters, maybe being at 50 millimeters, and just getting the composition of the door, if I ever encountered something like this again, I will at least have that in my mind to try and do it. Personally, I do like the wide angle. I do see secondarily how awesome it could be just to have the Bernie and Bernie walking through the door isolated 
and it's just him. But it still works in my mind. Uh, I also want to point out that I did print it out on the Canon Pro 1000 printer. Uh, if you guys remember last year, I did Fro 365. Fro 366 is in the works and will be back. And I will give you all that information in a future video, how you can get entered to win free prints, something similar to this. I'm not sure I'm gonna do the political stuff in free prints, just in case somebody doesn't want that. But Fro 366 will be back because it is a leap year. It's also an election year. So this image, I still like it, but I just gave you why I would like some of the other ones. But also I snapped off this one as, we, as they were leaving. And I, I just like the behind the scenes nature. Like we're on the move, let's go. Still have the Bernie stuff in the back, still have the family, still have security with them. Uh, and that is pretty much it. The moral of the story is this stuff happens super fast on the road. You gotta one, get the access. You gotta two, react to the situations that you're in. You gotta try and find the angles, the exposures, get your focus right and just hope that the, the image presents itself, that you've put yourself in the right situation to make it work, and that your settings are still important, but you can't forget the compositions and the framing, and all of that gets put into play. What lens should I have on? Did I make the right choices? And you just live with it, and you learn from it, and you move on from there. I'm happy with this image. I would hope that in the future, I encounter another wall like this when I'm out on the road, and have a door with the senator walking through it, and try to replicate it, but just by filling the wall like that. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And that's where I'm gonna leave it this time. Thank you guys very much for watching. Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.